Hello and welcome to the message feature tutorial. This tutorial explains what the message feature is for and how to use it. The message feature allows you to send messages to clients or to others regarding a client. Messages can only be sent from within a client chart. Once a message is sent, the recipients will receive an email. If they respond to the email, their response will appear under the client's chart. The message feature can be used to correspond with the client or you could use it to correspond with a physician regarding a client. It can also be used to send a notice to your office manager to remind them to order labs, set an appointment, or obtain billing information from a client. We have a robust task feature that is also designed to assign tasks to other users in the practice. However, the messages feature can also be used for task management. There is a message tab at the practice level that lets you see all the messages that are addressed to you. You can respond through the app or through your email. Even if you respond by email, your responses will be recorded under the client chart. Before we open the app to demonstrate the message feature, let's get a brief overview of the message template feature. The message template feature serves two purposes. The first purpose is to save yourself from having to type the same messages over and over again. While under a client's message tab, you can choose a message template and send it to the client. The message template can contain placeholders that will auto-populate from the client chart. A message template can also have document attachments. The second purpose of the message template is to automate the sending of messages to your client at various gestational ages. For instance, if you want to send information packets at various stages of pregnancy, or even documents that clients need to sign later on in pregnancy. Some examples include sending information packages to clients at their stage of pregnancy, childbirth education, car seat installation instructions, reminder to schedule a six week postpartum visit, postpartum care instructions, GBS and vitamin K handouts and surveys, and more. Okay, now we will log into the app and view the message feature. From the login screen, we will press take a tour to view the demo practice. Next, we will tap on the messages sub tab in the lower left corner. From here, you can see all the messages that have been sent or received for all clients. By tapping on the filter button, you can choose to see only messages addressed to a specific user in the practice. If we tap on any of the messages, the app will open the client record that the message belongs to and take us to their messages tab. In this example, the message is only a draft as it has not actually been sent. If this message had been sent, you would be able to hit the reply button. To send a new message, press add message on the toolbar. If you want to use a message template, tap on the predefined message field and select a message template. Next, tap add recipient if you wish to add additional people to this message. The client is automatically added as a recipient. However, by pressing the delete button, we can remove the client if we want. Once we begin typing a recipient name, the recipient list will appear. This list shows all the email addresses related to this client, including the father of baby or emergency contacts. The list also shows all the other users in the practice or emails recently used. Lastly, it can pull from your device contact list. Any recipient can reply by email and the response will be sent to everyone on the recipient list. The recipient list will always be listed at the bottom of each email so everyone knows who will be receiving their responses. None of the recipients will be able to see the email addresses. 
they will only be able to see a long email address with cryptic numbers from mobilemidwifehr.net. If any of the recipients are users of your practice, they can choose to respond from the app instead of by email. Any PDFs that get attached to an email response to a message will get copied to the client's documents tab. So you can send a client a message with a GBS waiver form attached asking the client to sign it. When the client emails it back with a signature, it will show up in their documents tab, saving you time. One last thing I wanna add is that any message templates that are automatically sent to clients will also show up in the message list under the client record. That way you can verify that your message templates are truly going out at the desired week's gestation or week's postpartum that you configured them for. Next, we will go to the message template tab and show how to create a message template. To navigate to the message templates feature, tap on the settings section at the bottom, and then the message templates sub tab in the lower left corner. From here, you will see three message templates that are included with every account. These message templates can be used to invite your clients to the client portal or the chat feature or the messages feature. I will open the messages invitation to demonstrate how the message template feature works. From here, you can see the message template name at the top and then the subject, which will be the subject of the email, and then the body, which is the body of the email, and you'll notice the placeholders that are inside of square brackets. You can either type in a placeholder, or you can use one of the quick buttons below the message body in order to insert them wherever your cursor is. So by tapping on baby first name, it'll put the baby first name placeholder wherever my cursor was. The baby first name will be inserted whenever you send this message to the client or if it's utilized as a message template that gets automatically sent, then the system will automatically fill it in when it sends the message template to the client. You can add as many placeholders as you like. As we scroll down, we can see additional options that include the ability to automatically send this template to clients at a specific gestational age. Once we choose yes to that option, then we can choose how many weeks gestation that we want to send this message. An additional important option is the ability to choose to send this to new clients that were added after the above selected gestational age. So if you have a new client that visits your client portal when they're 15 weeks pregnant, they will receive this message the next day when the system runs the daily messages because they're past 10 weeks and you set this option to yes. Or you can set it to no and they will not get this message because they were already past 10 weeks when they created their record. And this works regardless of whether it's you that creates the record through the app or whether they create the record through the client portal. Alternatively, you can choose to have this message sent out at a certain week's postpartum. So that might make sense for a message template that is simply a reminder for the client to call in and set up their, their six week postpartum appointment. And then you can include attachments into the message template that you want to be sent along with the email. So that would be important if you want to send a message template with various consent forms or waivers, or maybe you want to send a, a dietary log for them to begin to fill out. All right, that concludes our message tutorial. Thank you for watching.